Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you the most capable off-road GMC terrain. So if you follow me here on the channel and you know I've recently posted a couple videos of the GMC Acadia. Well, the terrain is more in line with the Chevy Equinox in terms of the size. Uh, and it also shares much of the underpinnings with it as well. Now for 2023, the GMC terrain did receive many changes very similar to those found on the 2023 Chevy Equinox. Now I'll go ahead and put those up on the screen now so you guys can take a look because I don't have a dedicated video going over all those 2023 changes like I normally would on other models. But as far as exterior colors go for the 23 model year, they did get rid of three and replace them with three new ones. So the three that went away were Quicksilver Metallic, Hunter Metallic, as well as Cayenne Red Tint Coat. And they got replaced with Volcanic Red Tint Coat, Sterling Gray Metallic, and Deep Bronze Metallic, limited to the Denali only. And when it comes to pricing for the Terrain AT4 in specific, luckily there was no price increase from the last mod year. So that means the Terrain AT4, which only comes in all wheel drive, starts at $37,395, including destination. Now, the one that we're gonna be looking at today is in the low $40,000 range because it does have a few options. So let's not waste any time and take a look at what the 2023 GMC Terrain AT4 gets you for right around $42,000. So the terrain in front of us is fish in the desert sand metallic exterior color with the jet black leather interior. Interior. And personally, if I was going to buy a Terrain AT4, this would be the color to get. I think it suits the kind of rugged nature of the AT4 trim level quite well and stands out amongst the other colors. Up front, you'll find a darkened chrome grill with the AT4 badge lower in the corner. Of course, you have the red GMC logo nice and prominent. LED reflector headlights with LED daytime running lights, incandescent turn signals kind of in the upper corner. And down below, you will have LED projector fog lights front parking sensors as well as your front camera for the 360 surround vision system. And this trim level of the terrain will find the regular kind of matte black plastic cladding, whereas the Denali will get a paint match version of trim. Coming to the wheels and tires, these are your 17 inch kind of split five spoke design wheels. They're wrapped in 225, 65, 17 inch Goodyear Wrangler, kind of an all terrain tire. Definitely a more beefy kind of rugged tire, kind of a mix of on and off road capability. I think it suits this trim level very well. Gloss black mirror caps with LED turn signal indicators. They are going to be heated and do have blind spot detection. They are not auto dimming on the outside. They will have a camera on the bottom for that 360 camera system. AT4 badge on the driver and front passenger door. Proximity entry on all four door handles. And you can see some of that matte and gloss black trim kind of with the cross rails up top as well as around the B and C pillars of the vehicle. Out back, you will find LED lighting with LED turn signals and LED reverse lights. Rear parking sensors with some more chrome accent and trim. Rear backup camera, of course, with your AT4 badge on the right side of the tailgate. I really do think this is a very attractive SUV. And personally, between this one and the Chevy Equinox, I think this one looks just a little bit better and I do like the kind of off-road rugged nature of the AT4 in particular, especially in this exterior color. Now I do wanna show you the window sticker so you guys know exactly how this one is equipped. So as far as the features and options that this one has, it has the infotainment package too, which has the HD color touchscreen with built-in navigation, premium audio system, uh, stuff like that. It has the three years of OnStars and connected services with unlimited data for the built-in Wi-Fi, as well as remote access via the app. Has the SkySafe sunroof with power sunshade, the tech package, which gives you the HD surround vision camera system. Desert Sand Metallic is an extra cost color. The Terrain Pro Safety Plus is the adaptive cruise control. And finally, the side blind zone and rear cross traffic alert, which brings the total MSRP, including destination, to $42,060. So here on the inside of the Terrain AT4, you will find some AT4 specific bits on this trim level, soft touch upper door, soft touch padded armrest with some tan accent stitching, a unique pattern around the door handle with two person memory seats, power windows, mirrors and locks with power tailgate as well that is programmable as far as the height goes. Bose premium audio system once again, because this one has the infotainment package too and some extra storage. Power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar. Once again, that tan accent piping and stitching kind of goes on the seats with the AT4 up in the headrest. Once again, I do like all the color accents of, as far as the stitching goes. So we'll go ahead and start it up. 
And you can see you're immediately greeted with the heads up display, which kind of pops up there in the dashboard, kind of projects onto that plastic screen. We'll get to that in a minute. But with this trim, you'll find a mostly analog gauge cluster with a 4.2 inch color screen in the center. This can be controlled on the right side of the steering wheel. So you can cycle through some of the menu options there, including the built-in navigation, some of the vehicle settings, stuff like that. Pretty handy screen. Leather wrapped steering wheel that is heated in this particular trim. And once again, this does have the adaptive cruise control option. So you go ahead and set that here. You have three gap settings. So pretty typical as far as most GM vehicles go. Once again, your Bluetooth kind of phones, voice control commands on the right side. And there are paddles on the back of the steering wheel to control some of the infotainment settings as well. Automatic headlights with fog lights and auto high beam assist. Regular wipers on the right side. Here to the left of the steering wheel, you will find your electronic parking brake, gauge dimming, as well as your heads up display buttons. So you can move the display up and down with those toggles on the left side of the steering wheel and also change what is displayed up there as well. So pretty easy to use. Coming to the infotainment system, this is your eight inch HD color touchscreen with built-in navigation once again. This does have wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay capability, built-in Wi-Fi hotspot, Sirius XM, AM, FM, USB inputs, all that good stuff. This one does have the 360 camera system, so you can pull that up. It is a nice high resolution screen, but like I've mentioned in many of my GM videos, I just think the screen size is a little bit small. Uh, it's getting more on the dated side as it has been out for several years. And I think that is coming with most of the interior refreshes that GM does. Uh, so hopefully we'll see a larger infotainment as well as some updated gauges here shortly on the terrain and other GM models as well. I do like all of the hard touch buttons below the screen. Here's your stop start on off as well as your hazards. Dual zone automatic climate control with your push button gear selection below that. So again, this is very similar to the GMC Acadia. USB-A, USB-C, auxiliary inputs, SD card slot, 12 volt charging outlet, and a little bit of extra storage. Speaking of extra storage, you do have little pockets on each side of the center console there. Uh, so that is a nice feature. It doesn't go through like the Acadia does, but it is welcome addition for sure. And as far as the key fob goes, Typical SUV and uh, truck key fob from GM, remote start, tailgate release, all that good stuff. Heated front seats, parking sensors on off, four wheel drive controls, lane keeping assist, hill descent control. So very useful stuff, especially if you plan to take this kind of mildly off road as this trim is designed. So you can see this does have an off road mode, which kind of tailors the, some of the drivetrain aspects to going off road. Nice leather stitched armrest, two USB-A ports inside, a little bit of extra storage. It's actually a lot of storage. There is a light in there as well to help illuminate when it is dark outside. Up top, you will find a light colored headliner, LED lighting, auto dimming interior mirror, OnStar sunroof controls, three garage home link settings, as well as a sunglasses holder. And speaking of the sunroof, this does have the panoramic sunroof option. So very similar or the same one found in the Chevy Equinox. It goes way to the back of the second row seats, lets in a lot of additional light. And once again, it does have the power sunshade that you can see is open there. So yeah, pretty nice interior on the GMC terrain. I would personally say it's maybe just a little bit nicer than the Chevy Equinox. So stepping in the back seat, most of the materials will follow through. So here on the door panel, you do have hard touch uppers. However, you do have the same padded leather stitch armrests with the pattern around the door handle pull there. The seats are going to have the same kind of piping and tan accents. You can see there is an armrest with two cup holders. And these are 60-40 split folding seats. Step in height is very nice and these seats are immediately very plush. So that is a nice benefit. There's a look at the front dashboard. Two AC vents in the back and two USB-A charging ports and a nice 120 volt household outlet down below. So that is nice to have in the back seat. Mat pockets on both of the front seats. Once again, there is the armrest, nice plush seats. And I believe these do have some sort of recline settings. So you can set it there. It is a little more upright 
and then if you recline it all the way, there's just one more setting. So it does recline slightly, not as much as some of the Hyundai products, uh, but at least that is nice to see they do recline. So taking a look at the cargo capacity of the terrain. Once again, a power lift gate, which is programmable as far as the height goes. You'll find very similar interior volume as the Equinox. You can fold down the second row seats via those handles right there, 12 volt. I don't see any light, which is surprising. So that is a missing piece as far as that goes. Lots of underfloor storage, however. And if you wanna access the spare tire, just pull that little tray up and it is a compact spare tire. So good to see that there is a spare available. Once again, a good amount of storage as far as the cargo capacity goes. So take a look at the passenger front seat. You will find a partially powered passenger seat with some manual adjustment as well. So you do have two-way power lumbar. The main adjustments are power here as far as the sliding goes, but it looks like the recline is going to be a manual adjustment. Little storage pocket here up on the dash. Damped glove box. I don't see any interior lighting in there. We can see the soft touch dashboard with the accent stitching. It is a very nice, and I think it's a slight upgrade versus the Chevy products. Uh, but yeah, the interior on the AT4 is very nice, as you can see. Let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. So underneath the hood, you'll find a 1.5 liter turbocharged four-cylinder paired to a nine-speed torque converted automatic. Now this puts out 175 horsepower and 203 pound-feet of torque through all four wheels. And this output is a five horsepower bump over the last model year. So that is just due to some tweaks as far as the tuning and engine goes. But overall, it is going to be the same powertrain as the 2022 and prior terrains. So that's gonna wrap up this video on this 2023 GMC Terrain AT4. Like I mentioned throughout the video, I do think this is a slight upgrade versus something like the Chevy Equinox as far as some of the interior materials go. I definitely like the fact that you can get it in this desert tan exterior color. I think it looks very nice, kind of goes with the slightly more rugged off-road theme of this vehicle. And uh, if I had to choose between the two, I think this, even though it is slightly more expensive than a fully loaded Equinox, I think this is definitely the one I would choose. And once again, as far as changes go for the 2023 mod year, go ahead and leave those up on the screen once again so you guys can kind of pause this video and read through them very quickly if you would like to. And if you haven't owned this generation GMC terrain, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you happen to have an AT4 and have taken it off-road and where you've taken it off-road. If so, I definitely love to hear it. Again, this vehicle is not meant to do hardcore off-roading, but with the upgraded tires, the off-road mode, the smaller diameter wheels, it definitely can go a little bit farther off the beaten path versus something like a regular Denali, or again, some of the more road-going variants. So if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit that like button. It greatly helps out these videos and the channel. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications, and make sure to check out some of the other videos available here on the channel. I will be filming another Terrain Denali video, so make sure to keep an eye out for that if it is not already posted. Um, and check out some of the other product videos I have as far as GMC, Buick, Chevy, as well as some Hyundai videos. So if you're interested in any of those, make sure to check those out. So let me know once again what you think of the Terrain AT4 down in the comments. And as always, hope to see you guys in the next video.